Hi, Aaron Loosely here, your McWayne Ductile Pocket Engineer Professor. Have you ever wondered or needed to know just how much water flow a fixture or a pipeline can handle? Water flow rates are exactly what we'll be focusing on today. Welcome back to our series on the McWayne Pocket Engineer Calculators. This video will be featuring one of the most used calculators in the collection, the Flow Calculator. This calculator easily computes the flow rate in gallons per minute based on the velocity you want, or vice versa. It also easily computes the frictional head loss based on that flow, which offers insight into operational costs and pipeline efficiency. In the interest of water conservation, most common household fixtures come with a built-in flow restrictor in place. Remember our 2 million gallon water tank? How long do you think it would take some of these common fixtures to drain that tank with their standard flow rates? A garden hose, 8 gallons per minute, 6 months. A shower head, 1.5 gallons per minute, 2.5 years. Kitchen faucet, 2.2 gallons per minute, 1.7 years. A toilet with an average of 10 flushes per day, 356 years. When it comes to ductile iron pipe, you really can't hurt it with too much flow. Those are worries for other piping materials. In this example, our 2 million gallons can easily be delivered in less than 3 days through a 6 inch ductile iron pipe, or just 2 hours through a 36 inch ductile iron pipe, without ever exceeding an efficient design velocity of 5 feet per second. It's all based on the foundational flow equation. The flow rate, or gallons per minute, is directly proportional to the flow area available and the velocity, the feet per second, that is created, or that you want. If I wanted the same flow rate, or gallons per minute, to go through both of these hoses, the water in this hose would have to be so much faster, or more velocity, because there's so much less area to move through. As my velocity increases, so does my head loss. Head loss is referred to pressure loss due to frictional forces. A greater head loss means lower operational efficiency and greater energy costs. Let's take it to the Pocket Engineer. Go to the browser version or the app of the Pocket Engineer, click Get Started, click Ductile Iron Pipe, click McWayne Ductile, Calculators, and then find the Flow Calculator. The Flow ca Calculator computes the flow rate in gallons per minute based on the default velocity of 5 feet per second. In this case, let's look at a 6 inch ductile iron pipe. At 5 feet per second, my, my flow rate is 482 gallons per minute and my head loss is 13.42. Let's watch as we bump up that flow rate to 1000 gallons per minute. My velocity doubles and my head loss almost quadruples. 10 feet per second isn't a problem for ductile iron pipe, but that high of a head loss isn't the most efficient. Standard design velocities range from 2 feet per second as a minimum to 5 feet per second as the average peak. Let's increase that pipe size to 8 inch and keep our flow rate at 1,000 gallons per minute. It brings our velocity and our head loss into the desired, desirable ranges. <clears throat> if we stay at 1,000 gallons per minute but go too far with the upsize, say to like a 16 inch, our velocity can fall below the standard minimum of 2 feet per second. Let's go to the 36 inch pipe with the standard of 5 feet per second velocity or the default and those the results that we get from that default are just fine for that size. But if by chance we downsize that pipe suddenly to a 12 inch then you can see that it might just overwhelm the system with a high velocity and a very high head, uh, head loss. So try to pay attention to those types of dynamics as you go along. That's the flow calculator, available for free at pe.mcwayne.com. For more information, contact your local sales rep or for access to our in-house technical staff. Thanks for watching and until next time, work hard, work smart, work safe.